I am Tamara and today I want to talk about sewing needs versus sewing wants. The first thing that you need is a sewing machine. I am going to bank on the fact that you already have one, but just in case you don't. I of course do not recommend that you buy those tiny little toy sewing machines, but anything above and beyond that should do you well in the beginning. So I'm just going to link to a few of those because I don't want this to become a sewing machine tutorial. At the very end of this video, I am going to share with you what is the most important item I think that you should have in your sewing toolbox. This is an item I didn't use or have for probably the first 10 years of my sewing career and I had no issues. And then one day something happened and I realized it was so important to have. So I'm gonna share that story with you at the very end of this video. But for now, let's just jump on in. Sewing machine needles. You will need to be replacing your sewing machine needles often, and depending on the fabric that you're using, it will depend on what sewing machine needle you need. So definitely make sure that you have the right sewing machine needle and you are changing them often. Get yourself a tape measure. Something that's flexible like this, these are super cheap. You can find them at most fabric stores, just make sure that it has the measurements that you need on them. Whether you work in inches or centimeters, double check that and then I highly recommend once you bring your tape measure home, you actually line it up with another tape measure, any other ruler that you may have at home and make sure that your measurements line up with that ruler because some of these are made cheaply and you want to make sure that your measurements are correct. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned yet but I am going to list everything that I'm talking about in this video in the description down below and I will have a matching blog post for that as well. The next thing that you will need as a sewer, and this is a vital need, it's a seam ripper. Now, your sewing machine most likely will come with a seam ripper. I have this little guy here, it came with my sewing machine. It's tiny, it doesn't even have the little red ball on the point there, which I have a video that tells you what that little red ball is for. I will link to that video in the description down below. So this little guy is a need. Now don't be fooled, a beginner sewer needs a seam ripper, but so does an expert sewer. Now the want for an expert sewer is a nicer seam ripper, something bigger, something that fits in your hand nicer. So this is a need, this is a want, but I highly recommend if you do get into sewing that you get yourself a quality seam ripper. You won't need to replace it as often. You do eventually need to replace these guys because they will get dull. But if you get a quality one, it should stay sharp for longer. Pins. Pins are a total need. Now, you can get cheap pins, you can get expensive pins, but what I recommend is that you get pins that are heat resistant heads because you will end up taking your pins to your iron and pressing on that pin, and if it's heat resistant, it's not gonna melt to your fabric, to your iron, and so, in my opinion, this is a need. Now, you can go out and buy a ton of fun pin cushions, but if you want, you could just make one for yourself. I have a tutorial for this one here, also linked in the description down below. Now, going along with pins, this is a want. These are my clips. So I don't know if you can see here, I've got a really nice clip here. They come in all sorts of sizes, so this one is bigger. I actually use my clips more than I do my pins, but these can be expensive and you will need a lot of them, so I do recommend the need being the pins and the want being the clips. Another very needed item are bobbins. Now, depending on the sewing machine that you've purchased, it will either need metal bobbins or plastic bobbins. Stick with the bobbins that that sewing machine comes with because if you are swapping back and forth, you are going to cause yourself issues. So just stick with whatever bobbin your sewing machine requires. And I've got this lovely little bobbin holder here, which is a want, not a need, 
but once you get a whole bunch of bobbins, the next thing you are going to want is a place to put them so that your fabric, or fabric, so that your thread does not unroll on you because you do not want a loose bobbin. That as well will cause you issues. Another need is an iron and an ironing board. I'm going to assume that you already have one at home. If you don't, yes, that is an expense. However, there are needs versus wants in this category. You don't need to have a full ironing board if you live in a smaller space. You can get a smaller one. I have one that I just set on my table. I also have a fancy iron that you can see behind me here. It is an Oliso iron and it is my favorite iron. That is expensive. It is a want. Just get yourself a cheap iron and you can do so much with it. Just make sure it has a steaming feature. And next we have a sewing gauge. This is such a cheap sewing tool, but I use this little guy in almost every single one of my sewing projects. I can't even think of a sewing project that I have not used it for. You can slide this little plastic bit here back and forth and so you can keep the measurement that you need so you can check your hems if you need to and it's just it's gold I highly recommend this is a need I hope you are enjoying my very scattered needs versus wants sewing list here on YouTube if you are I just would like to ask you to please hit that thumbs up button because that will let YouTube know that this is a good video to share with others I very much appreciate your support and if you don't want to lose me on YouTube Hit that subscribe button. All right, let's keep on going through this list. Another thing you will need are marking pens or pencils. This is a friction pen. I love this little guy. You can iron the lines away. However, if you are sewing clothing, I actually don't recommend this because sometimes the lines can come back. They can always get pressed away again. They only come back if they are left in the cold, but still, if you're doing clothes, don't recommend. This is a marker and I love this guy because you just run it under some water and it washes right away. And then I also have this marking pencil here. It is good, but the frustrating thing for me with this little guy is that it's similar to any other pencil crayon really that you are sharpening. Often the end will break so then you keep sharpening and you keep sharpening just trying to get it to stay put. So I think I would recommend this marker here and as a need and then this friction pen as a want later on. There's also marking chalk that you can look into as well. I don't use it very often. I find it messy, but if that's something that you're interested in, you could look that up as well. Now this little set, in my opinion, is a need and it is to help clean your sewing machine. Now if you are ending up with sewing machine problems, it might just be that lint is getting in your way. So you you can get this little kit here and it comes with a microfiber cloth and it comes with two brushes. Your sewing machine might come with a brush as well. So if that's the case, your sewing machine came with a brush, then this is a want. This is not a need. But I do love this little guy because it comes with a nice long brush. So you can get into those nooks and crannies and I have gotten so much lint out of my sewing machine using this little guy. Now, this sewing tool I did not have when I started and when I discovered it, I was thrilled. I wish that somebody would have given me this when I first started sewing. So as a beginner sewer, this is a need and it is called a sewing stiletto. A sewing stiletto allows you to guide your fabric underneath that sewing machine needle without getting your fingers near the sewing machine needle. There are lots of different sewing stilettos out there. I will link to a few of my favorites. Now this sewing need is pricey. There's no way of getting around that. And it is your pair of fabric scissors. I have this pair here. I have had this pair for over a decade. This is an investment. It is so important that you buy yourself a good quality pair of scissors. There are a few different brands out there that are of good quality and I will link to them in the description down below. This particular brand here is by Ginger and they just make amazing sharp scissors. Now the thing about fabric scissors is actually that they are micro serrated. So when you're cutting your fabric, it's not 
pulling the fabric in between the two blades, it really is cutting the fabric. Now you never want to use these fabric scissors on anything else, cutting out your patterns, cutting paper, nothing. Keep these under lock and key because they will dull quickly if they are used on items that are not fabric. And it really is probably the most expensive item that you will purchase besides your sewing machine. Let's jump into a few wants. So you've purchased just all of your needs, you've been sewing for a little bit, and now there might be a few items that you're like, shoot, I wish I had that. These are those wants. The first item that I would recommend you investing in is a pair of pinking shears. Now pinking shears have a nice little zigzag pattern in them. And again, you want to buy a high quality pair of pinking shears. That way they actually cut through your fabric. Now this want in particular is something that I do recommend that you get later on when you have sewn a few of your sewing projects and they are essentially turning tools. So I've got this nice little point and turner here by Suki Sews and then I've got these little guys here. They're the same length but you can get them in two different lengths and they've got hooks on the end and these little guys allow you to either pull fabric right side out similar to this point and turner or they will allow you to pull rope or your fabric string whatever you've created through smaller gaps in your garments. There's also something called a bodkin. I do not have that one yet, but it is on my list of two buys and it works similarly to just a pin that you would hook on the end of a rope and then you can wiggle it on through. So highly recommend getting those eventually. Now, another thing I highly recommend adding to your wants list is a pair of snips and a pair of sharp tweezers that kind of go on this curved point here. I use these little guys often to clean out my sewing machine to get those bigger clumps of lint. I also will use these little guys when I am maneuvering certain fabrics. So I highly recommend getting a pair of these as well as a pair of extra little snips that you can keep close to your sewing machine to snip away those excess threads. Now these next two items are a want. I actually don't own them myself. One is on my list, one is not. The one that is on my list is a magnetic pin holder. Now the reason why I don't own one yet, like I said before, is I use my clips more often. So I tend not to use my pins that much. But if you are one to sew garments, you'll probably end up sewing with pins more often than clips. And so then I do recommend you getting a magnetic pin holder. The other item that I won't be buying, but you might want to buy depending on your sewing machine, is a thread cutter. Now it's just a little thing that you can keep beside your sewing machine and you can just take your garment with that little excess thread and just pop it on over and it'll cut that thread and remove it right off. I don't need that because my sewing machine actually has one built in. So take a look at your sewing machine. If it's built in, you don't need it. If it is not built in, it's still not a need because you can use scissors, but add that to your wants list. Now this next set of items is a set of three that work very well together. Now it's not in my needed side of things because it really depends on the type of projects you're sewing, whether this becomes a need or a want. But I highly recommend that you look into getting yourself a nice cutting mat. Now this is the first one that I got. It's actually quite small. Let me see. This one is an 18 inch by 24 inch and I used this one for over 10 years before I upgraded to a larger one. So you can do a lot with a small cutting mat. You'll need a rotary cutter. Any rotary cutter will do. Some are even left-handed versus right-handed. So definitely keep your eye out on that because that is important and you will need a ruler. Now the first ruler I recommend that you buy is one that is six inches by 24 inches. My favorite brand of ruler is actually Creative Grids. 
mainly because they have some grip on the back of their rulers, which allows it to kind of stick to the fabric and not shift around as much. But it's not that important. So depending on your budget, a generic cutting ruler will do just fine. I do think the six inch by 24 inch is the way to go for your first ruler. If you are a beginner sewer, I have two tutorials that I highly recommend that you do to teach yourself a few skills. So I have a very easy, very simple tote bag tutorial. It doesn't even have a lining. So if you are very new to sewing, I highly recommend doing that one. And I also have a pillowcase tutorial and that one walks you through learning how to do French seams, which sounds fancy, but is actually very simple and a great skill to know. So those are my two sewing tutorials that I highly recommend that you check out. And now for the most important sewing supply item you must have, if you have a sewing machine that has any form of computer parts. Now, you don't even have to have a very fancy sewing machine for it to have some computer parts. If you have a tiny little screen and it shows just digital numbers on it, that is a computer part. So the reason why I am telling you all of this right now is because my beloved baby lock sewing machine, which is a very expensive sewing machine and I had it for years, went kaput on me one day because I sat down to it, I touched it, and a shock went from my finger to my sewing machine and my sewing machine stopped working. It would only sew backwards from there on out. I brought it to a dealer to try and get it fixed, but the sewing machine was too old. They didn't have the correct computer parts, so I had to buy myself a new sewing machine. I was devastated. It was a wedding present from my mom, and I loved that sewing machine so much, and all I needed was a surge protector. Let me know in the description down below, are there any needed items that I missed or items on your want list that you're saving up for? I am very curious what you guys also enjoy sewing with. All right, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.